Today Jacob is going to make acne threads on his American pacemaker lathe. It'll be for a jack stand. He is first going to face off the female part of the screw. He's using 1045 cold finish steel. Some portions of the video are sped up, of course, so that it doesn't take so much time to go through the video. He's now going to drill out the stock. He's using a little bit undersized drill bit here so that he can get it more perfect with a boring tool. Now this is the boring tool. He can get it to exactly the right size and exactly in the center of the stock. He will be using a tap so he needs to get it to the correct size for the tap to work. He's going to use a tail stop to keep the tap aligned straight. You'll need to use a fairly large wrench to do the tapping because the acne threads are hard to tap. A lot of metal has to be removed. You will all be also be using some lubricant on the tap. It's in fast motion, so you can't see him put the lubricant on very well, but he, he is putting lubricant on there. Okay, now he's preparing to Thread the male portion of the jack screw. That instrument he's using there is to make sure that his cutter is exactly on center line of the stock.
he will turn a recessed portion of the stock down so it doesn't interfere with his cutting tool as he begins his thread making so there will be a little bit at the end of it there that he's going to recess in to give him clearance He's now making his initial cut for the Acme threads. He's now going to check it with the tap to make sure the threads are correct. Now he will continue cutting until he has the threads completely cut. And you notice he is using thread cutting oil on that stock. using a file to clean up in case there's any burrs or anything. He'll be using the file to round the corners off just slightly on the threads. The jack screw won't be used with any wrenches. It'll just be knurled as you'll see at the end. 
so that you can grab a hold of it and rotate it by hand. And because you're going to be rotating it by hand, it has to be, the threads have to be really smooth. So he's smoothening them up with a file and he'll be using the emery cloth also to, to get them nice and smooth so that the female portion of the assembly will screw on and off the male portion easily and smoothly. Uses a rag to check it for any burrs or irregularities. Double checking the measurements. And there's a finished product. There's the knurled nut or female portion of the screw and the male portion there. And when we when he gets done with the rest of the jack, he'll have a video of that also. But there it is again. You can see the threads real clearly, the acne threads. Thank you for watching and subscribe so that you can see more videos. And have a good day.